Well, um, I don't know if uh, when we started doing this, we started working on the Cessna 140 and we found the issue with the gearbox. So we've been looking for one and we, we found one, purchased it uh, about a week ago. So now it's here and pulled it out of the box. So now we're going to do the little prelim inspection, uh, tear it down fully just to get the gearbox part of it because it, it would just cut out, I guess, from the, the donor plane. So it has a, a tag. Uh, the tail number came out of serial number stuff like that so now today we're just gonna tear it down and then uh, remove the one on the airplane also and then uh, go from there so that hopefully you know we get it rolling pretty soon so when we get parts in it's always interesting to take a look and see where these parts came from this part the yellow tag listed November 76061 a quick internet search led me to the NTSB report of the accident 76061 had and what looks like happened was a typical 140 issue where too much braking was applied and the airplane ended up uh, flipped over on its back. The 140 is known it's a light tail wheel airplane uh, with this light tail the brakes are very sensitive and the 140s have good brakes so as you're out there flying if you get some experience in a 140 just know that it does not take much break uh, to get this thing up on its nose uh, if you need directional control just a little bit of brake tap will do it uh, and there's really no reason to go full brakes and as you can see from the ntsb report uh, they went full brakes and ended up flipped over on its back it's all this because it needs to fold because it has a split in the middle because it has to fold yeah. Just so we can slide it down. So we're basically pulling that whole front belly open. Yeah. Pretty much like filleting it. Yep. <laughs> Alright. It's one of those, but I wanted it. At least we can move it to this one for now, just so you can open it up. Okay. And we might uh, have it ready by then. This is what happens when you're old and you work on airplanes. It's not a, it's, it's Oscars though, it's not really mine. <laughs> but you're How's it looking? Looking good so far. Got a couple more rivets here. We'll be to open it up and see if we did good or not. So just, hopefully we did. <laughs> just a couple rivets. Yeah. <laughs> a couple rivets today. So the cover on here, they had a doubler on that we're not gonna be able to use. I guess that's the what the first the first casualty. Yeah, it would have been nice if we could use those plates, but oh well, here's what it is. It's a template. Yeah, that's smashed right on 
this side. The, the corner here. Yeah. It's all smashed in and all this all this is cracked here on the bend. So all this is good, just clean it up. Sand it down, get as much of the crud off of it. Throw some some nice uh, primer on it. It won't continue to corrode or anything. But yeah, looks good. Better than our other one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, I just uh, opened up the bottom of the 140 to expose the gearbox and uh, got covered in mouse droppings and I don't know what else has been here since the 1940s. But anyway, uh, that's exposing the front of the gearbox. So once we get this all dropped, we're ready to put the new gearbox in. They started with the gearbox and then built the whole thing around Built it. around the yeah. gearbox. It wasn't that, it was something else. It's crazy. So we're pretty much gonna disassemble the whole front of the airplane. Yeah, ran into a little snag here, which no matter what, how we look at it or how we wanna disassemble it, we're gonna have to take that center tunnel with the pedals off to successfully uh, take the gearbox. Cause we could easily cut it all up, take it off, but to put the other one in, it's still gonna lead us to removing that pedal assembly with the center channel. So we could slide it forward and down. Just cause this uh, channel here goes straight down. Instead of just stopping here like we thought, it goes down about four inches. So we can't just Pull it off. Yep, so it's a little more work than we anticipated, but <laughs> we'll on. keep going. Yeah, we'll keep going. <laughs> keep updating you guys. That's the one up here. So that's it for that one. And this one here goes all the way through. That ties into the door post. Yeah. So they are the, so I gotta get those off though too. <laughs> Man. Fun. This is why people don't try and fix them. No. <laughs> Hey.
Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we uh, we're at a stopping point just because we got a little little bump on the road, but nothing major. Just something to pretty much uh, keep us from doing any other major work. Uh, we got to build a little pretty much support to hold this up while we remove the, the gearbox because right now we have it on the actual gearbox uh, section. So we take it out, put it in any other spot. It's pretty much gonna either wrinkle it up or collapse or uh, cause more damage to it. So right now we got it pretty much ready to go, ready to come out. We got all the pedals out. So now uh, once we get that support uh, put together, we just pull this right out and get the other one in there and uh, slap it in. But right now, meanwhile, we're gonna pretty much just clean up all this stuff that from the years of it's been in existence uh it's just all the oil and then critters that have been nesting in there so we're going to clean it up get a nice uh insulation going for it um and yeah we'll we'll keep you posted on on the the rest of the the project here and right now we'll, we'll go to the actual the bulkhead that i was uh cleaning up and having uh drilled out and clean up to uh get ready to install it we'll go over here the what the insulation yeah it's on the on the firewall the insulation, yeah, it's an AirTex insulation insulation kit they sell. They make them for various uh, uh, models, makes and stuff. It's all pre-cut, pre-sewn. Pretty much, you just slap it in there. It comes with the burn certs and everything, so it's not one of those like the old stuff. It's like your attic where it's just fiberglass everywhere. It's a closed cell um, fiberglass kit. You just put it in there, and it's really nice. The and then that cradle you're talking about that's gonna get welded to the front and back. Yeah, we're gonna build. Um, Pretty much just a crater from the bottom. We're gonna add some little tabs here so we could insert there, put a bolt in there just to support it. Uh, pretty much just uh, sustain, uh, sustain it, pretty much floating there. Uh, we were thinking just hanging something, but it's gonna be damaging the, the skin, so we're not trying to do any extra work. Um, so yeah, we'll just build it and just to hold it in place while we get the, the other gearbox in there and slapped in and riveted in there. Sweet. So let me just show you the, I guess the other yeah, there's a the nice pedal that need to be cleaned up a little bit. So here's the the one from earlier that we received that we found from a donor airplane. So we'll, when they removed it, they, they pretty much just chopped it up just because the airplane was pretty much trash. So they cut it up. So all the excess parts that we didn't need, the skins are all tore up or whatever. We, we drilled those out um, and got it pretty much ready to go for the installation. We're just gonna pretty much just degrease it, clean it up, uh, etch it, uh, and uh, treat it uh, for corrosion, and then slap, uh, shoot a nice uh, you know, primer in there to keep it from ever having corrode or something to, in case they take it you know, somewhere where there's a lot of corrosion issues. So yeah, this is pretty much ready to go besides, you know, just cleaning it up and get, having it ready for primer. So like I said, guys, uh, you know, uh, hit the, the like button and subscribe so we can uh, continue giving you these nice little videos or, or be helpful information that you guys might need. So yeah, and yeah, we see we'll keep posting more videos and keeping you guys up to date with this project. Thank you.